Hello, welcome back. Today I brought in these three alder trees to give them a bit of a prune. These are just three collected trees I've had for a few years now. Alder, they, they reckon is not the best because it gets such big leaves, but um, the leaves on these have got them reduced quite a bit over the years. And I find by the kind of end of summer the leaves are quite you know reduced quite a lot because I keep um, taking off a lot of the big leaves and stuff and slowly but surely I'm getting more and more ramifications so they grow really quick really good and um, so we'll get started on them just move these out for you two them out the way and we'll start with one So we'll start with this guy. Um, now as you can see everything's going that way because that side was facing the sun. So when I put it back on the bench now I'll put this side facing the sun. I'd say this is probably the front but we'll have to see. Okay. So I'm basically just going to prune it right back as much as far back as I can really just to get it to reduce the size of its leaves and to, to produce more ramification. I normally also defoliate these later on in the year I'll probably end up defoliating it at least once or partially defoliating it maybe we'll see but I do take off the bigger leaves keep it it's kind of not a great tree this so all the branches are coming from the top and um, a couple coming down here now I have put a little bit of wire just to pull this one down a bit and it's a back branch but we'll just keep working on it and see how it goes and just keep pruning it back to the outward facing leaves getting rid of all, a lot of the bigger leaves it seems to work quite good with them These are my indicate water indicating trees. These these are normally the first to start drooping. If your water is if they're drying out, that normally tells me if these are drooping. That's because they take to need plenty of water. If they don't get it they look sad so then you know you need to water your trees a bit more so I'm basically just pruning into an outward facing leaf and taking off all the bigger leaves and the growing tips you see if I leave these these will just grow bigger and then these ones back here will be just shaded out so I'll just take them back maybe leave one there
definitely think you could get these down all right to a lot smaller leaf and when you have trees like this that grow pretty much everywhere here again another good tree to practice on it's you know it's not you're not worried if it dies or if you over prune it and things go wrong it's not a big deal you haven't paid a lot of money for it or anything it's just free so these are the trees you want to be practicing on going on here. There's a few branches coming out the same place. I need to make a decision on what I'm going to do here at the top. I could take that whole top off. I might do that actually. I'll leave the two branches. I take off that whole top piece. We put to there. And we'll turn this one back here. This one back right here. There's a bit of wire there just pulling this branch down. I'll just check if that's done its job yet. Yeah. Just a couple of guy wires on them just to hold pull the branches in place. Well, I'm wiring them, they grow so quick. I did wire them before. I don't know if it was this tree or the other one, I think it was actually. And it grows so quick. Now that one, I still could do with another one. So I'll leave that another while. They grow so quick, it bites in fast, but it also recovers quick enough too. So if it does bite in, it's not the end of the world. A lot of branches come from the same spot and are kind of horizontal where I did the big cuts. They just sent out branches everywhere and it was back when I was starting my bonsai journey so I just kind of left them. I was too afraid to do anything. So now I'm just trying to get them a little bit into some sort of a shape. be one of these trees that looks okay when it's in leaf but doesn't look any very good when it's not a few branches here coming out the same place I'll just finish this one back Here is kind of coming back in on itself, but yeah, I'll have to go with say. So we'll take him off and have that one and I have this one. Do I take away that one? I think I will. I'll take that one out as well. It's getting quite chunky back there. And just from here, I could probably take the end off, reduce that back a little bit. Okay, so I think we're there with this one for now. What's going on in here? This one going up there, we'll click that out. Okay, so that's probably as much 
there's no bother doing with that one for now. So as you can see it's got a nice trunk on it. I'll get this branch to grow, maybe it will help the design a bit. That's tree number one sorted. So I'll just grab not tree number two now. Okay, so it's tree number two. This the one that's got it's hollowed out. So hollow inside here. And we just had two branches, small branches on it, but they've really thickened up over the last couple of years. I did a little bit of carving on the dead wood up here. Uh, doesn't feel like it's that um, hard of a wood, I'd say. It rats awake pretty easy. But again, like the last one, we'll just do what we did. Trim it right back. Get rid of some of these big leaves. More lighting. that right back. And it will push out new buds. This is the one that I put a bit of wire on it. And you can see there used to be wire scars but they've all actually healed over completely now. You kind of like these trees because they do send out shoots all the time so when you get big shoots and old shoots like this you can just take them when off and you've got a new young shoot behind it that you can let grow dead stump there see there's a couple of dead bits here now where the light hasn't got to them so it's died off I think we need to kind of keep on top of this trimming, pulling them back. Now, here we've got one straight up. This one we can take right back to there. It's starting to get a bit far from the tree, this, so we'll take that one back. going straight up here so take them right back to that outward facing leaf and we that one and I'll take the leaf off and I'm gonna take that one just above that little there. Okay so you can see now how that's reduced that branch back quite well and you get starting to get some nice shape going to it. Okay, now the top, Let's see what we've got up here. How about this branch? Actually, one leaf on the outside there. This one has an out facing branch, we'll go back to that. Mm. 
Let's dub up there and take out. Let's move the camera up a little bit. This branch doesn't really have anything on it, so I think I'm going to take it right back and if something comes then good. If not, something else will pop somewhere else. Definitely we need to be quite harsh with these guys. ones here starting to fill out for now because that's been in the shade a lot. Do we want that branch there or not? Maybe because that might replace all this. size again in a couple of weeks as they grow pretty good over here anyway in this climate they must love the wet now for the last little one this is just a 
small little one I'm trying to see does it make any difference if you keep them in a small little pot so this one's been this part I cut it back recently it was a bit taller had a kind of a funny bend on it so we took that out um, this branch I'm going to leave to thicken up and make a decision now do I want to keep this one or this one um, I think I'll maybe keep the thick one and build it so that that and these two all come up rather than having a more of a horizontal branch this one at the front can come out there and up here in the apex this is okay here this part here is kind of crossing over so we'll have to take him out and the main apex will Reduce right back there. Reduce that one back to there. This one has more leaves coming out over here, so we'll take that one right back. Got some growing in towards the trunk there, so we'll take them out. Just take the growing tip off that, so push out buds at the back. This one, I'll take off the tip of that. This one here we'll take out and then do want something to come back this way so and take out that scent a bit. Should I or should I leave it? I've got to take out one. Yeah, I'll take out the one face growing in. I'll leave this one growing out and this one growing up. So that will be eventually somewhere, probably around there, or maybe the front. We'll have to see. Okay, so that's that one. Just a small one. Just want to see if it makes any difference to reduce the leaf size if you keep them small more of that sorrel in there okay so as you can see here that's a lot of pruning we did today amount to the leaves but they'll be back in no time we'll be doing it again so let's get rid of all that lot out the bench and give them a good watering because they do feel a bit dry like I said they, they're the ones that these are the trees that seem to dry out the quickest for me yep so the usual thumbs up and if you like the video and please subscribe share my videos if you think anybody else will like them and we will see you on the next one thanks for watching okay I was just saying about try and see how small I can get leaves in this small part and then when I was cleaning up I just had an idea of let's see how small I can go in with them so I just put a couple of cuttings in just to see what they take can we keep them even smaller so that one and an even smaller one again in there they can go in by in with my mini trees if they take, they take. If they don't, I know how I'm trying. But just to see, can you make miniature little alder trees? And then small ones right up to the big ones. Okay, so that's all for this video. Again, thanks for watching. We'll keep you updated on these if they take. I'll, keep, I'll put them out in the... Uh, where I keep my minis in the sand so they've got plenty of, they stay moist all the time 
they're out of the wind. We'll see what happens. Okay, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.